Ready, everybody? Can everyone hear me? All right, everyone go like this. Everyone go like something like a little stretch out or stretch a little bit. Yes, here we go. All right. All right, here we go. By the way, I revise this every week. I teach the same thing every week. This is the best one yet. I added a couple examples. Wait for it. Okay. Um, hey, goal sharing. I just want you to know goal sharing is the number one reason that someone will buy Cutco from you today. Okay. And when, when I say that, I don't want you to hear that as, hey, goal, goal sharing is the reason people are buying Cutco. That's not the case. But the reason that they will buy Cutco today is simply because of how powerful your goals are. So I want to, I want, raise your hand if you have a dream car. This is how I'm going to explain this. Sydney, I see your hand up first. Sydney, unmute. Sydney Schaub, I say that right? Uh, Sydney, what's your dream car? Put you on the spot here. Just to have a car, honestly. There's no dream name just to have okay. a car. Well, that's okay. So that's good. I want someone outlandish. Raise your hand if you have like, just like, I want it. Raina, what's your dream car? I want a nice uh, Rolls Royce. Rolls you know, Royce. Like mom car. Yep. Rolls Royce is the perfect example. Okay. So Raina, in her mind, Raina's like, someday I'll own a Rolls Royce, right? Everyone has a car like this for the most part, or just to have a car. Um, for me, it's a black Tesla. I think like all black, everything be so sick to have. I'm going to have one. And when I say I'm going to have one, what, what follows that? I'm going to have one someday. Raina, it's like, well, yeah, I'm going to have a Rolls Royce someday. That is your customer with Cutco, unless you get them to buy it today. Has anyone heard yet? Oh yeah, I'd love to get it, but or I'd love to get the whole set, but just not today. Has anyone heard that? Like, oh, you know, down the road, it'd for sure be nice to have. Yeah, of course, of course you've heard that. Because nobody wakes up, rolls over in bed and says, all right, honey, this is it. Today is the day that we invest in a $2,000 set of high quality American made cutlery. Let's do it. Today's the day we budgeted for this. We're ready for this. Today is that day. Today is someday. We're buying a full set of Cutco today. No one does that. So why do people buy Cutco in the moment? It's because they are, they believe in Cutco, but it's because they want to buy it from you today. I want to show you this. Uh, for me and my fast start, I'm going to teach you in five simple steps how to absolutely captivate your audience and enroll them to buying today. For me, I had a trip on the line. So in my fast start, I had the opportunity to win a trip to Jamaica. If I hit $20,000 in my first two weeks of the job, I won a trip to Jamaica. So for me, every time I went into a demo, guess what I was sharing to my small town customers? Hey, by the way, when I hit $20,000 at the end of Saturday night, I went a trip to Jamaica. Okay. And I would share this because obviously that's awesome, right? So I want to show you this Facebook post. I did not ask this guy to put this up. And I dug this out of the archives this morning. This is what I mean. I got new examples for you. Okay. So this post was put up by a guy named Mike Welch, January, 2019. This was like towards the end of those two weeks where I had to sell 20,000. Always wanted a set. Someday, right? Always wanted a set. Sherry, let me pull the trigger. They are here and they're unbelievable. These are the knives my grandkids will fight over when I'm gone. Thanks for hooking us up, Alex Funk. Bought a signature set, kitchen tool pack, right? He spent over $2,000 with me that day. And I almost guarantee it was because I had a trip on the line. How do I know? Well, first of all, look at all these likes and comments. Jealous, have Cutco, love it, tell me more. Love my Cutco, love mine. I agree, best ever. Okay, if you don't already believe in Cutco, look at all these older people. These are HM50s ranting and raving about Cutco. Okay, but check this out. My aunt, who I also showed in my fast start, Mike Welch, did Alex let you know he earned his trip to Jamaica? Yep, that is awesome. That This is just another person I showed in my fast start. These people actually really cared if I hit that trip. Why? Because I had a great manager who taught me how to passionately share my goals. So you may not have a trip to Jamaica, but how can you create that same feeling in your presentation? You don't even have to know the answer because I'm going to give it to you. Okay. 
The other thing I want to say about goal sharing is, like I said, goal sharing is the reason that people buy it today, but your goal sharing should take you five to 10 minutes. Julian Rodocker, Coach Juju, it takes him 15 minutes. To, there he is on Danny Hayes' screen right now at the office. Upside down. It takes him 15 minutes to get through his goals. Jared Erickson, same thing. I'm going to put a video in the chat at the end where Jared goes through how he actually does his goal sharing. And you can copy it word for word if you want, because it's textbook goal sharing. But it should take you at least 10 minutes to talk about your goals. And if you're like, I don't even know how I would take that long. Because right now it probably takes you 30 seconds to read that one line in the manual. Yeah, that's that's okay. That's pretty normal. I'm going to teach you how to lengthen it out a little bit. Okay. So the first step to awesome goal sharing. Okay. Number one. And I want you to take these bullet points and basically make yourself a nice little script out of it. Okay. Let's take a little time today. This is the most expensive thing that you can do today or the most profitable thing you can do with your time. Change that. 15 minutes of Instagram scrolling to crafting yourself a little goal sharing script. Okay. Number one, share past success with Cutco. The greatest goal sharer that I can think of in, in Cutco, his name is Cutco Mike. Okay. Cutco Mike, he's from Iowa. This guy is so great at sharing his goals. I'm going to bring him back up in a little bit. But his Facebook timeline is literally a, the definition of great goal sharing. I looked up $1 million. I'll show you that in a second. He's always talking about 10 years ago, I hit a million dollars. I'm about to hit $6 million in personal sales. Have a goal. Write it down. Believe in yourself. People love it. 100 likes on this post. Cutco Mike, he's a legend. But if you share past successes with Cutco, what it does for you is it builds belief that people are buying what you are selling. Now, if you're here and you're like, well, Alex, I'm at, you know, I'm at $200. Like, you, should I really share? Like, hey, I just started three days ago. I'm at 200 bucks. Absolutely. And you know what else you can share? Hey, my training class uh, so far sold $52,000. One girl named Brooke has already sold $10,000 since Friday, right? Or I'm at $4,300 so far. Or our division this year has sold whatever million dollars last year our the Minneapolis office alone sold 4.7 million dollars whatever the number is and wherever you get it from what that is doing is proving to your customer that people are buying Cutco and it's very um under the radar being like hey people are buying and you should buy today and it's planting the seed in your customer that they're not here as an audience they're here about to buy some stuff that'll change their life forever as it's done for the X amount of orders that you've already had. So share past successes. Again, this could be you. This could be your office. Ask your manager, what is our division at this year? Because what this is doing is telling your customer, hey, people are buying today. The last part of this I want to say is, has anyone ever went down like, went out to restaurants and noticed one restaurant has a line out the door and one restaurant looks completely vacant, which one would you eat at? The one with the line out the door, right? Like what's wrong with the other one? I'll wait in line where everyone else is. People love to hop on a bandwagon. Why did I cheer for the Los Angeles Rams all year? Because they have cool jerseys. But you could argue like, well, the Dolphins have cool jerseys, but the Dolphins aren't good. So I'd cheer, like I didn't cheer for them. People love hopping on the bandwagon, okay? The second part of great goal sharing, so it's open with, hey, I just started. I've already sold X amount of dollars. The second thing you want to share is your current dollar amount goal. So open your goal sharing with what you're at and then lead to what your goal is. And if you don't have a dollar amount goal that you're passionate about, I can't guarantee you're going to sell a lot of Cutco. You have to have a goal. Does it matter what your goal is? It actually doesn't, but you have to have one. Because I remember playing ping pong with Elliot, Elliot James running the other breakout. And I tell this story often because it's just, to me, it's a great example of human beings love a target. They love a finish line. We were hitting a ping pong ball back and forth at his apartment last December, back, forth, back, forth. This went on for like 20 minutes. Finally, I'm like, Elliot, can we just play 
a game to 11. Like, can we just play? And we did. He beat me 11 to two. And it was still so much more fun than standing there hitting the ball back and forth without a finish line. Humans love a finish line. So make one. And people naturally want to complete whatever that goal is, whether it's for you or for them. So an easy way for you to share your current dollar amount goal is have a thermometer. Have a thermo thermometer. All right, every week I add something to this talk. Next week I'm going to have my old school thermometers. I don't have one laying around. Um, I'll share a slideshow at the end with Elliot. Elliot has thermometers that you can see. But thermometers, that's a perfect visual of where you're at in your goal. People love that. Oh, next week, I'm going to share a video too. My sister at 23 years old, she actually put me over my 10K goal. So 10K fast start, big deal. And every time I went home for the day, my family would be like, hey, what are you at? What are you at? What are you at? And because I was passionately sharing my goals with my family, they're like, what are you at? What are you at? How'd today go? And my sister, she's like, you're at 9,600. I was like, yeah. And she literally bought a custom galley set that Casey Fenlon helped me make. She invested in it young, which is great investment, by the way. She still talks about it and loves her knives. She had to go to the emergency room one time because they're pretty sharp. But um, she spent a lot of money that day that she kind of didn't really have. But it was because she grabbed the highlighter and filled in my 10K thermometer. And we have a video of her giving me a high five. And she was all excited. And this is my sister, who younger. Imagine how an HM30 would feel. So to have a visual of your dollar amount goal, that can be really emotional. For a customer, that can feel really good. I want to show you Cutco Mike again. This is what I added this week. I'm pretty excited to show this because like I had to dig for this and I found it. So Cutco Mike last year, this is so awesome. I'm going to show you the, the progression of this. So Cutco Mike, he's a legend. He's from St. Louis. You can see he hit a million bucks in 20, whatever, 2012, 2011. And last year, check this out. So I looked up 1 million, but so he posted this post right here, this one, September of 2021, he posted a, about goals, right? People love goals. And he apparently has goals in every category. I didn't, I saw this this morning, his faith goals, family goals, uh, his wife goals, his business goals. Now check this out for his business goals. He had $750,000. That was his goal for the year. And he hit it in September. So Cutco Mike, it took him nine months to hit $750,000. That means he sold about $83,000 a month to hit this. And then he put, should I go for a million? Okay. So Cutco Mike put this out there on Facebook in September. At, look at this progression of time here. So <clears throat> he a couple of days later, I've almost sold a million dollars of Cutco. Okay. A little bit after that, he put, Where's the million in this one? Oh, I don't know why that showed up. Okay, selling almost a million dollars in October. Now here you can see he's kind of like, all right, maybe we should go for this. So he put just hit $800,000 October 25th. Now he starts talking about hitting a million bucks. Okay, right here. Today we set sale to a million dollars sold by one man. Do you believe in Cutco Mike on October 26th? Do you believe? Look at this goal sharing. Vegas odds he sells a million bucks, October 27. Now all of a sudden, here's his thermometer. People, and look at this, people are starting to get on board. 75 likes, including the CEO, Bruce Goodman. It's so rare for someone to sell a million dollars in a year. It's happened like five times. Now he puts the story of Cutco Mike, 28 minutes, talking about million dollar mission. Here we go. Only four individuals have ever sold a million dollars. Why can't Cutco Mike? This is the first post I saw about it. I liked it. I was like, ooh, this is kind of cool. Cutco Mike, million bucks. Okay. Promotes it, promotes it. Do you believe in my knife guy? <laughs> okay. He posts about it all the time. And pretty soon, this is November. It's like a month later. Update from Cutco Mike. You're telling me you wouldn't be captivated by this? Oh, he has all his customers on Facebook behind the scenes to a million bucks. Name your price to hit a million. This is goal sharing. Under 10K, boom, million dollar mission completed. Thank you, Tom. 
350 likes and 100 comments. This is an Instagram. This is on Facebook. How awesome is that? That's goal sharing. And I remember seeing this post. I liked it, obviously. I remember seeing that post thinking, dang it, I wish I would have bought something. Like, I wish I would have been a part of that. Like, that was so cool when Cutka Mike hit a million bucks. And you can see from September to December, he sold that last. It was actually like two months it took to sell that last 250 grand because people were just coming out of the woods to throw orders at Cutco Mike to hit his goal. And everyone was clearly proud of him. He got 350 likes on it. So your goal, by the way, that should help you understand your goal of $10,000 or $6,000 or whatever. It's, that is nothing compared to a million bucks. You can do it. You just have to get people on board. Okay. Number three. Um, and actually I want to give you a little script for this. So my goal is blank. Okay. Because blank, what it means to me is blank. What I get is blank. How I'll feel is blank. So you can steal that, add that into your little script that you'll create during your Instagram time today. Okay. My goal is blank because blank, what it means to me is blank. What I get is blank. How I feel is blank. I guarantee actually, if you call your manager and say, Hey, can you help me craft this little goal sharing little snippet? You'll sell double the Cutco as a result of it. As I just showed with Cutco Mike. Okay. <clears throat> Number three. Share how hard you've been working. People want to help people who work hard. People respect people that work hard. People love people who work hard. You probably know the feeling of seeing someone who's looking for a handout in that internal of like, well, you know, I feel like I should help them, but you know, you'd rather don't, you'd rather help the person who you see grinding, working really hard every day. And like, that's a pretty normal human feeling to want to help the person who's working really hard towards something. No one really likes giving handouts. So when you share how hard you've been working, your customer not only respects it, but they appreciate it. So, hey, Mrs. Jones, by the way, to hit my goal, I went through 15 hours of training. I learned a new skill for this. This is all new to me. I've never had a job like this before. I've been waking up at 8 a.m. for this thing called Champs Club, making blank amount of phone calls every day to hit my goal. My last appointment was at 9 p.m. last night to hit my goal. I'm working so hard for this. I haven't worked this hard for something since blank. This matters to me a ton. I'm, I'm really grinding at this. I call my manager all the time. I've been doing this around another job. So a powerful goal sharing doesn't even need a big goal. It just needs a goal and you have to share your whys and you have to share the things like how hard you've been working. That's the third thing. The fourth thing out of five, so there's two more things left just to wrap this up. The fourth thing is give a shout out to your parents. So this one's obviously a little bit different than the other ones, but why is a shout out to your parents so impactful or why is this so helpful is because you're probably talking to parents. Everyone understand that? And how often do your parents get thanked? I literally posted in the chat or I said, post in the chat what you're grateful for. And there was a handful of people that said your parents. Have you told them that today? So oftentimes we overlook the things our parents do for us. I do all the time. For example, my parent, we just had a wedding this past weekend for my cousin. My parents, I actually, now I feel kind of, I should definitely text my mom right now. They got us a hotel room. They paid for it. And I don't know if I said, thank you, actually. Maybe I did, but it wasn't like, wow, thank you for spending $300 on this hotel room. But my point is, uh, your parents probably aren't thanked that much and neither are the parents that you're sitting in front of. So when you're in front of them and you say, hey, I'm really grateful for my parents because blank, 
<clears throat> that means a lot to them. The part of the, you could say part of the reason I'm working so hard is you want to take the burden of your school loans or whatever off your parents. You want to pull your own weight. Your parents have always been there for you. This job is going to help you pay off your student loans, graduate debt-free, whatever the case is, but it's going to take stress off your parents. So Mrs. Jones, I can't thank you enough for giving me your time today. I know how busy parents can be. So I really appreciate that you just sat down with me for this presentation. The last thing, here we go, take it home, is open them up to buying today with this one line. I'm going to post it in the chat, but I'll also read it. Mrs. Jones, I can't thank you enough for sitting down with me today. Right there. Mrs. Jones, I can't thank you enough for sitting down with me today. My biggest goal is not to sell you $10,000 of Cutco. You might want to. I think you should. Ha -ha. But you don't have to add that if you want to. But my biggest goal is that we have some fun. And by the end of this thing, you're going to want to refer me to, to a bunch of more people so I can keep showing Cutco. Because it can't really go door to door selling knives, right? Ha uh, another joke. But hey, Mrs. Jones, my biggest goal today is not that you buy $10,000 of Cutco or whatever your goal is. My biggest goal is that we have some fun. And by the end of this, you're going to want to refer me to a bunch of your friends. That seed plants the recommendations, that takes the wall down of them not feeling like they have to buy, but that also opens them up to understanding that there's an opportunity to, to spend $10,000. If you say something outlandish, like 50 grand, I think that doesn't actually help as much because nobody's going to spend, I mean, odds are very slim they're going to spend 50 grand, but someone could drop 10K. Okay, so my biggest goal is that we have some fun. And by the end of this, you're going to want to refer me to a bunch of your friends. Take the guard down for them. So again, nobody buys Cutco simply to help you out, but people will buy their Cutco today because it helps you hit your goal. Again, I'll take it back to the dream car example, Reina and her Rolls Royce, right? You and whatever your dream car is change the, well, someday change that to today. And you can do that if you enroll your customers into why they should buy it today. And you can feel really good about that because Cutco goes up in price every two years. So if your customer genuinely wants Cutco and they buy it in two years, they're going to pay more for it. When I started selling Cutco, the homemaker was 1273. Now it's 1409. Like it's only going to go up. So if they don't buy it today, you're actually doing them a disservice. Oh, how about that for some perspective? Okay. All right. Hey, remember, have fun. I'm going to give you a resource in the chat right here. This is Elliot James slideshow for goals. So if you open that up, what this is, is the basically the presentation that he shows his customers. <clears throat> so you can see it right here. Make Go like this, file make a copy, entire presentation, and then you can put your pictures in there. Look at the thermometers, right? Thermometers right here. If you're not artsy like this, ask your manager, hey, can you help me out with this? Right? Okay, and then the other resource I wanna give you is if you go to YouTube and subscribe to my channel, you'll help me hit my goal of a thousand subscribers at the end of the year. Actually, that's actually my goal. But there's also a video right here, Jared Erickson going through his goal sharing. Whoop. Whoa, I get ads on my YouTube now. That's a big deal, right? I should be getting paid for that. Um, but here's Jared Erickson. So you can see him actually give his goal sharing talk the way he would to a customer. Okay. So if you want to check that out on, on my YouTube channel and subscribe. I should have a thermometer for my YouTube subscribers, actually. I'm a hypocrite. Okay, all right. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for being on. Good luck. Share your goals. Again, craft yourself a little uh, script of goal sharing. Have fun with it. And dude, get people cut code today. Don't let them wait any longer. All right, goodbye, everyone.